while the westbound lanes of I-70 now are completely reopened. Also, the eastbound lanes, those were reopened around 1 o'clock this afternoon. And now the Kansas Highway Patrol believes that weather this morning, that rain that we saw, played a factor in this crash, but they believe there may be other factors that caused this crash this morning. Take a look at this video a viewer sent Fox 4. The driver captured this as they were stuck in traffic after a deadly crash closed a portion of I-70 this morning and afternoon. You can see a truck in flames. The Kansas Highway Patrol says this fiery crash was caused after a pickup truck going eastbound sideswiped a semi, causing the semi to lose control and hit the highway's median wall. Right on top of the wall for a little over 100 feet and uh, westbound semi truck hit that. Lieutenant Mark Christensen with Kansas Highway Patrol says the driver of the westbound truck pulling two trailers died in the crash. The crash caused a major traffic jam and caused both directions of the highway to be diverted. If you take a look at this scout cam video, you can see a plume of dark smoke from the crash. KHP says there were flammable materials inside the truck that caught fire. Plus, the truck's diesel added fuel to the flames. Oh my goodness. There were some uh, oxygen containers and then there were some uh, different five gallon buckets of uh, some type of alcohol. I'm not sure. It wasn't drinking alcohol. It was some like a medical use alcohol, which those things are pretty flammable. KHP believes that about 15 to 20 feet of the median wall was heavily damaged, which is something the Kansas Turnpike Authority will be responsible for repairing. I can guarantee if the if the barriers weren't there today, that would have been a whole lot worse. I reached out to the Kansas Turnpike Authority with questions about when the damaged median walls would be repaired, but they did not return any of my calls. Now, at this time, the name of the driver has not been identified. Also, when we asked the Kansas Highway Patrol, they said they were still investigating to see if any driver would be cited or would face any criminal charges. Monica Castro, Fox 4, working for you.